17 months ago, Benjamin Partridge, he was attacked with a sledgehammer at his pace and home before children were attacked at a nearby daycare. Doctors didn't think he would make it through that night, but after all that time, Tonight, he is finally home. Incredible recovery. Fox 13 Spencer Joseph has the homecoming you will only see here. They've already called me and says we're on I-80. Let's get him out from under that one. There's excitement in the air at the Partridge family home. A lot of people I've talked to are. It's the hometown feel and that we care about one another. You've got a job to do. As more and more people show up, Maybe you'd like. they're all rushing to get the house ready for Ben Partridge. We want to make sure that we support our residents and in turn, hopefully they can support us as well. With the sign and balloons up and the car right around the corner, Bye. it was time for the moment of truth. For the first time in 17 months, Ben Partridge is home. This journey was the longest journey of my life, the worst of my life. For Troy Greer, he's been dreaming about this day, but seeing it happen. It was very hard for me to hold back a lot of tears, and they still escaped anyway. I know my mom's happy. I know Molly is happy. <laughs> We're all happy. 17 months ago, Ben was outside building a fish tank when the unthinkable happened. The teen shown in this video attacked Partridge with a sledgehammer before beating children at a nearby daycare. The months following were rough, but thankfully he had so many on his side. He's had a lot of support throughout the whole nation and it, we thank everybody for that. And he's still working hard. He uh, is beginning to be able to stand and um, walk a little bit with uh, help from a harness. I could see that uh, later on in the future that he will be able to walk once again. Yeah, of course I'm happy. But it's going to be a long, long journey. So as Ben gets settled in. I'm glad to be home. We are yeah. so excited. We are home. It's brighter because we get to see the progress that he's made. For Troy, he had this message. I hope it gives other people hope in uh, knowing that don't give up. Do not give up on your loved one. Spencer Joseph, Fox 13 News, Utah.